Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we are gonna talk about restaurants with a fireworks view in Disney World. And this is a request from one of our viewers, and I thank you guys so much for sending in requests for video topics and ideas. We definitely will try to get around to all of them for sure. So we're gonna talk about restaurants in Disney World with a fireworks view, and which ones are better, and which ones aren't really worth going to. <laughs> so let's get started. First up, let's go to Happily Ever After in Magic Kingdom. I guess it's about a year old now, the Happily Ever After show, fireworks show, and it is an amazing show, it's so great. There's a lot going on on the castle during the show, so the best place to watch it, of course, is gonna be right up there on Main Street, watching the castle from Magic Kingdom itself. But if you can't get in there, or if you would rather just kinda of sit back and relax and have a nice meal while you're watching the fireworks over there, there are several places where you can do that. If you want to be in the park and watching Happily Ever After, there are a couple of locations. First of all, Casey's Corner, of course, is a counter service restaurant right there on Main Street, USA. They have a bunch of outdoor seating. These fill up really, really quickly when it's fireworks time. If you're going to sort of save a table for yourself, you'll want to get one of the ones, of course, closest to the fence right up near the castle. Um, that way you don't have a sort of a obstructed view from the Casey's Corner umbrellas. And speaking of, there's also a few tables over on the other side across the street from Casey's Corner. These are outside of the uh, Plaza, Main Street Plaza ice cream parlor and the Plaza restaurant itself. Those are some other tables that a lot of people choose to sit at. Again, those fill up really quickly ahead of time. By the way, Casey's Corner is hot dogs and french fries and stuff like that. So it's not gonna be, you know, refined fare or anything, but it's a pretty good hot dog. Okay, so let's go next door and talk about Crystal Palace. This is a table service restaurant. It is a buffet and a character restaurant where you're going to see 100 Acre Wood characters. So Pooh and Piglet and Eeyore and Tigger, of course. This restaurant does not have a great view of Happily Ever After unless you are sitting at one of the very specific window tables. So if you're seated, I would say probably 80% of the tables are not gonna be window tables. So it, depending on where you're sitting, you're not gonna have a great view. Of course, you can always pop out onto the porch and watch the show from there. But again, that kind of defeats the purpose because you're not sitting down at your table and relaxing and having a nice meal while you're watching. So this is probably not the best vantage point. This is not where you wanna go specifically to see the fireworks while you're eating, but there are a few tables there in Crystal Palace that you'll be able to see happily ever after from. Also in Magic Kingdom, I mentioned Plaza Restaurant that there are some tables outside. Those are not tables that are gonna be served by Plaza Restaurant. So if you do go to Plaza Restaurant, there are a couple of window tables that are gonna have a view of the fireworks. Most of the tables will not. So just keep that in mind. Again, it's one of those things where you're going to have a row of tables that will have a decent view and then everybody else is not gonna have a decent view. So not the place to go specifically to watch the fireworks, but definitely a decent restaurant. And if you're not kind of dedicated to seeing the fireworks, you might end up lucky with one of those tables. Another option in the park, of course, is the Happily Ever After Dessert Party. This is a dessert party specifically to see the fireworks. So there's two options here. You can sit down to watch the fireworks, or you can stand up to watch the fireworks, and that will cost you two different prices. But you can book the Happily Ever After Dessert Party and get a dedicated place to see a great view of the Happily Ever After fireworks. And you also get access to unlimited desserts and non-alcoholic beverages as well. You can see our full review of the Happily ever after dessert party over on Disney Food Blog. And we talk about pricing, we talk about options, we talk about pros and cons, which one you wanna book in terms of the more expensive one or the less expensive one over there so you can go check that out. Finally, sort of a different vantage point there in the park is Cinderella's Royal Table. Cinderella's Royal Table is inside the castle itself. So you're not gonna see anything that's on the castle because you're inside the castle. What you will see is through a couple of the window tables, you will be able to see the fireworks that are being set off from behind the Magic Kingdom. Most of the fireworks in Happily Ever After are actually set off from behind the Magic Kingdom, and so it's an interesting vantage point. You won't get a feel for the whole show, of course, because you're not going to be watching it from in front of the castle, but you will be able to see a few of the fireworks. And again, um, there's only a few tables that have that great sort of vantage point there. Everybody else will not be sitting at a window and won't really be able to see much at all. You'll certainly be able to hear it, though. 
All right, other places to watch Happily Ever After from not inside the park, but at hotels and locations outside of the park. First up, California Grill is a signature dining restaurant. You can see all of our signature restaurants ranked in this video over here. This is a signature restaurant on the top floor of the Contemporary Resort next door to Magic Kingdom. A lot of people love to go and dine here and watch the fireworks. It's a very coveted view. So make your reservation for maybe 30 minutes to an hour before the fireworks start and definitely request a window table with a fireworks view. Don't just request a window table because there's window tables without a fireworks view. When you get there, you want to request a window table with a fireworks view. Now, California Grill has floor to ceiling windows, so you are gonna be able to see the fireworks from most of the tables there. There's one room in the back that you can't see the fireworks from. There, there may be tables in, in, your, in front of you, basically. <laughs> but you'll, you'll be able to see it from just about everywhere in California Grill. Another option with California Grill is to go ahead and sit in the lounge. So you, if you can't get a reservation at California Grill, you don't want to spend the money for a full meal there. You can go up to the California Grill lounge. Anybody's welcome there. You don't have to have a reservation and you can order from the full menu as well. So that's a great option. Again, this is going to fill up really, really fast. So if that's your plan, definitely have a plan B because that might, that might fill up too quickly, but it is an option. Those of you who eat at California Grill before fireworks time can come back with your receipt and go out on the viewing platform at California Grill to watch the fireworks from there. So if you ate there earlier in the evening, you are welcome to come back and watch from the same sort of vantage point as everybody else. Narcusi's is another signature dining restaurant in the Magic Kingdom Resort area. It's over at Grand Floridian Resort. And this one is a circular building right out there in the middle of Seven Seas Lagoon. Several of the window tables here are gonna have an okay view of the fireworks. And there's also a deck surrounding this restaurant. You can go outside and watch the fireworks from there. You're not gonna get the full experience for sure, but you will be able to see the fireworks and it will be a nice, pleasant sort of date night experience for sure. Also over at the Polynesian Resort, Ohana is a great place to watch the fireworks show. This is directly across from the Magic Kingdom, so you're gonna get the full experience. You're not gonna be able to see everything projected onto the castle, but you're definitely gonna be able to see all of the fireworks. If you go to Ohana, be sure to request a fireworks view table. Again, there are a few areas of this restaurant where you're not gonna be able to see the fireworks from your table if you don't specifically request a fireworks view. So when you check in, at the podium make sure that you request that they won't guarantee it but they will do their best to make sure that they get you that fireworks view but i always do uh, recommend that you go ahead and make your reservation for an hour before the fireworks or 30 minutes before the fireworks so that you have time to sort of wait for one of those tables to open up also at the Polynesian, you can go ahead over to the Tiki Terrace. This is a lounge right outside of Trader Sam's. It's an outdoor lounge. You're not gonna have a great view, but you are gonna be able to see some of the fireworks for sure. And speaking of, there are beaches at several resorts where you might be able to see a lot of the fireworks. At Grand Floridian, Polynesian, Wilderness Lodge, and Contemporary, there are beaches where you're gonna be able to see a lot of the fireworks above the castle. Um, so that's a good place to go and sort of relax and then you don't spend a cent, you just sit on the beach. So that doesn't cost any money at all to sort of see the show right there from the beach. And another little one over in Grand Floridian is the Gasparilla Island Grill. This is a counter service location where they have some outdoor tables and you can sort of sit out there and see some of the fireworks as well. So best views of Happily Ever After from a restaurant are probably gonna be Casey's Corner, California Grill, Ohana, and the beach on the Polynesian Resort. Those are probably gonna be your best places to see happily ever after while you're eating, or I guess you could have a picnic on the beach. <laughs> so you could, you could be eating on the beach, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew about the beach viewing as well. Okay, now over to Illuminations in Epcot. Um, this fireworks show actually has a lot of places where you can sit and eat and watch the fireworks, which is awesome. Some of the best locations are the following. Hacienda de San Angel in Mexico. 
is my favorite place to watch Epcot's illuminations from a restaurant. This is all indoor tables. There aren't any decks or outside seating. If you request a fireworks view window table, again, arrive 30 minutes to an hour beforehand and request that when you check in and be willing to wait for that table, you'll get a fantastic view, an absolutely fantastic view. The food here is decent to great, actually. It's a little bit expensive, but I've had really good meals here. And the other benefit is that you're gonna have air conditioning. So if it's a really, really hot night or if if it's kind of raining on and off, you're gonna be indoors, there's gonna be air conditioning, and that's great in my book. So another counter service location in Epcot's Mexico is Cantina de San Angel. This is the outside counter service spot. All the seating is outdoors, but it is undercover. So there's not a lot of seating, and a lot of people tend to hold these seats for a couple of hours before illuminations. So it's very hard to get one of these tables or seats. So if you're if you're you know, dead set on sitting uh, at Cantina de San Angel to watch the fireworks, you'll want to get there at least an hour early um, to grab one of those tables. The other beloved place to watch Illuminations is, of course, Rose and Crown. Rose and Crown restaurant is over in the UK pavilion. Inside the restaurant, you're not going to get a great view at all, if any view, but there is a outdoor deck seating situation where you can request a table out on the outdoor deck, and there are some great views from out there. You're right out there in the middle of the lagoon. It's really, really a close-up look and a great view. Note that there are tables on the side deck as well, so don't just request an outdoor deck seat, request a fireworks view seat when you check in at the podium. There are very few tables with a good view, so definitely get there early and be willing to you know, engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat to get those tables, but it's a great view and it's a really good restaurant. I really do enjoy the food here as well. Another great place to see illuminations is Spice Road Table in Morocco, in the Morocco Pavilion. There are some great window tables here, and there are also a whole lot of tables out on an outdoor deck here as well. So be prepared again to request a fireworks view table specifically. And this is usually an easier reservation to get. So if all you want is a great view of the fireworks, you can probably get that here pretty last minute. Another couple of places in Epcot where you might be able to see some of the fireworks. Monsieur Paul in the France Pavilion. There are a few window tables where you might be able to see a few of the fireworks. There's, it's kind of obstructed. There's some trees right there, but you can definitely see the fireworks from those specific tables. The windows are not big enough that you're going to be able to see the fireworks from other tables in the restaurant, though, so you'd need specifically a fireworks view table. And Tokyo Dining as well. Tokyo Dining over in the Japan Pavilion has some great floor to ceiling windows windows with some great views of the fireworks, but note that there is a deck outside where people stand to watch the fireworks. So if you're sitting inside of Tokyo Dining, it may be a little frustrating because there will be people standing in front of the window. So you'll really only be able to see the tops of the fireworks sometimes from that location. Also in the France Pavilion, downstairs, Chefs de France, you may see a few of the fireworks. Again, there's going to be people lining the promenade, so you're probably not going to see anything happening down in the lagoon itself, but you will probably, from the window tables, be able to see the tops of the fireworks over the trees. And there's also a dessert party in Epcot. There's the Frozen Ever After dessert party. So this is, of course, a Frozen Queen Elsa themed party. You're not going to meet Queen Elsa or anything. There's just going to, everything's just going to be kind of blue and the names of the stuff is going to be like Frozen themed. So you're not going to see her. And if you're adults traveling alone, don't worry. It's not a kiddie party or anything like that. It's, you know, it's just themed to, uh, to that particular film. All the seating here is outside, but there is seating. You'll be able to sit down to watch the fireworks. The seats, the tables are lining the World Showcase promenade fence, so you're gonna be right there next to the lagoon. It's really a great view. It's a good fireworks party, and you'll have access to lots of different desserts as well as some cheese fondue and some other sort of hot dessert items as well. This also includes alcohol in the price, so you're gonna get unlimited alcohol at this particular event. And the other little bonus for this event, which makes it almost better than the Happily Ever After event, is that after the fireworks, you get to go ride the Frozen Ever After ride, which is a very, very difficult fast pass to get. A lot of people don't even get on this ride because the line is so long. So after your dessert party in Epcot, you get to go ride that ride, so it's extra little bonus. 
So those are the places where you can see illuminations. And don't forget, there are some tables set up around World Showcase Lagoon, a few a few random little tables next to some of the little kiosks and places like that. So there may be a few places to sit down that aren't specifically restaurants. So stay aware of those as well. So those are our favorite places to watch the fireworks from restaurants in Walt Disney World. And those are some pros and cons of, of some of those restaurants. Definitely let us know in the comments what your experiences have been. Where have you loved watching? the fireworks from there's definitely lots of different vantage points so you may mention you know pinocchio village house you can sit out there and see the fireworks from behind the castle which is really really cool as well and there's a couple of other counter service locations in magic kingdom where you can see those fireworks from different vantage points which is really neat so definitely let us know your experiences where you loved seeing the fireworks from don't forget to give us a like and please subscribe to the channel and set your notifications so that you get notified every time we put up a video we'd love to have you keep watching and keep commenting and let us know what you'd like to see next. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.